Hello. Okay, so here it is. There's the zit. Okay, so I'm going to cover it. I've got some dark circles too and just uh, I've got a bad skin day. I've got little things everywhere. Okay, so I've got a bad hair day too. So um, what I think I'm going to do is do my BB brew. So I'm going to use my mineral concealer and my BB creams um, and then a little bit of the liquid concealer and I say little just because hey Sarah because um like it's a joke how little of this you need I mean honestly it's it's laughable I can show you now what I've used before I just don't know if I want to use it now but like if I use it it's going to be like that much like it's not even like that's not even raised off my finger <laughs> so um I know you were probably like, yeah, right, you would need way more than that, but, um, I just don't know the best way to cover it. Okay, let's, tr we're just going to try. I'm just going to put on there now. I already have primer on, so this is what I put on my finger. I just tapped it, like, right on the top, and you can see there's, like, nothing even really coming out of it, so let's just see. And see, there's a little heart. It's a little hard on the top, so that's why I'm concerned about using too much product, because... I don't want to draw attention to um, the scab that is kind of like there, if you know what I mean. Okay, tiny, tiny, tiny little, tiny drop. All right, let's see if this works. See, what has happened is, oh, and I'm totally using the wrong color, you guys. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, crap. All right, I need to start over. This is what I always do. I always, always have to start over when I do my concealer. Hold on. You can look at the mirror that broke at 3 a.m., which I'm told is the witching hour. That's my mirror back there that I have to replace now. Okay, so the good news is, see, I can wipe that right off. So it was covered pretty well, but it was the wrong color. So we're just going to start this over. I'm going to actually wait for my face to dry um, and put a little, do my little BB cream mixture because I like my BB brew and I think that's definitely going to cover what I need to cover. I'm just getting a little bit of primer out so I can prime this area again. Primer is going to be key to um, smoothing over the roughness of this zit as well. You know, I mentioned that, yeah, the green is a great idea, um, Reba. By the way, I love your name. Um, so um, the primer is going to help smooth over that roughness. So remember I said it's like kind of scabby. So it's not like it's just a flat red spot. Um, there's some terrain there that I have to deal with, which is why I was so concerned about how much I use. So the primer is actually really going to help with that. Um, and while I'm letting it set, I'm mixing my BB brew. So you can see I've mixed it before, but the orange color is actually my mineral concealer. This is the color Frisky. Um, I'm an organza in our liquid foundation. And so if you're an organza, this is a really great color for you, even though it looks like, um, it should be like a blush or a, an eyeshadow, it, it looks not like a concealer, but it works so well and it actually is the perfect color. So um, I also have the contour set for the BB cream. I can custom make my color and this time of year is exactly why I like to do that. It is springtime. Sometimes I'm outside more than others. So there are days where my skin is a little bit darker and days where it's still in its wintry. Um, I'm pretty wintry right now, but um, you know, over the weekend, if I go out or if I'm in the sun today at all, then tomorrow I'm going to need a little bit darker color. And so it's awesome that I can do that, um, that I can mix my own. And what I'm doing right now is just mixing the BB cream and the mineral concealer together. And you can see once again, it's very little product. It doesn't take a lot of product at all. So we're going to start with that and then I'm going to go back to the concealer so that I only use um, the concealer that I, the amount of concealer that I really need. And just so you guys know, Scarlet is what I had used. I had it out because I use it under my brows. Um, but what I really need is 
not taffeta. I'm gonna do this right, organza. Okay, that's my color now. So first we're gonna start putting this BB Brew on and I'm just using these cheap little sponges that you can get in a pack at CVS. And you can use them several times before you dispose of them. So um, remember, we're also trying to even out my skin tone everywhere, but I've got these dark circles that we're gonna cover. So you'll see how good that BB Brew is at covering and just keep in mind what that zit looks like we'll see what we can do here and with the bb brew you can go light or heavy um i basically try to do a once over on my whole face and then i go back and cover areas like the zit maybe that are going to need a little extra coverage but you can see already i mean it's blended in with just this one layer um, and remember, this is BB cream, which is kind of a medium coverage on its own, but we've added the mineral concealer to give it uh, more of a full coverage, okay? So it's still not as full as our liquid foundation, but once we add our pressed powder on top, it's gonna be, I, in my opinion, it's gonna be better coverage. Um, and it feels lighter in weight, so that's pretty awesome. So this is where the zit was, and you can still see it a little bit, but for one, it looks smooth. It doesn't look, um, and you can see more of this in person, but it doesn't look uh, raised up. It doesn't look like a big bump. I also have this like thing going on down here. Sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I don't know if this is a scab or a little, yep, a little piece of skin. Sorry guys, I'm obviously not afraid to be imperfect on camera, am I? All right, so I'm just patting this stuff all around. I think you can already see it's giving me, first of all, I have a nice glow going on all through here and I've already applied here, I love this. That is the Minerals um, Concealer. It has, um, I mean, you can look at it, it's not a shimmer. It that, and that reflection is coming from the container, not the product, but. It's like it has this glow to it. It's not a shimmer like our eyeshadows, but it just has this almost like reflective property. So you're getting like a little mini luminizer all over your face without applying luminizer or without applying a highlighter. So that's really awesome. So here's that sit. Still a little bit of red showing through. So um, I've gone all the way around my face now. So what I wanna do is focus on this where the zit is. And like personally, I think I just need to focus a little bit more. I have a little red right there and focus a little more on my um, under eyes. This is the product I have left. I think with a lot of other products, you'd probably be scared that that wouldn't be enough. But um, I think it's gonna be more than enough. I think I'm gonna still have some left over when I'm done. So I'm just gonna come over here and cover this again. And this is really lightweight. It pretty much just feels like I'm putting moisturizer on. like pretty much all gone that's so crazy you guys honestly I thought I was gonna have to use the the skin perfecting concealer now this is the stuff that covers tattoos this is what I thought I was gonna have to use but um, once I get my powder on top of here I don't think I'm gonna need it so um, the other thing to keep in mind is if you're making this BB brew which is the minerals concealer let me show you that the minerals concealer the B in the BB cream you could actually drop in a tiny amount of this as well the the liquid concealer um, and that would really work or if you really only wanted to spot treat with it you could put it on a little bit on the sponge and pat it on with the sponge but I am pleasantly surprised to see that um, my minerals concealer has basically covered it. And so let me go back with the powder and we'll just see what we can do. Now, there is a little bit of a, of a bump. Um, see, and you can see it from certain angles that I can't cover because it's a physical bump. I know, Sarah, right? So I can't cover that bump, but I have really smoothed it out and covered the redness. And so like, I think most people are gonna not be able to tell that um that it's there i'm like super duper excited i'm actually so excited i forgot about this 
<laughs> it's just a little bit of red. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over with my powder and I'm gonna more or less, I'm gonna brush a little bit, but I'm gonna try to pat the powder on as much as possible. So I'm just gonna try to like gently pat. And this powder puff brush is so big, I'm kind of using it in like sides. <laughs> I don't wanna use the whole thing on my face cause I don't wanna like mess up whatever else I've done. All right, so let's go here. Let's And see, I don't wanna put too much powder yeah, Chelsea, isn't it? Oh my God, it's, I bought this back before we had our skin perfecting concealer, before we had the liquid. That's why I had this. So I've had it for a really long time, probably almost two years. And once we got the skin perfecting concealer, I was like, oh, I don't need this anymore. Then I learned about BB Brew and my life was changed. I love it so much. Okay, so if I cover this side here, like, honestly, if you just hopped on this just now, would you wonder where the zit was? Like, I would. I feel super good right now, you guys. This is why I love burying my soul for you, because it is worth it. It is so worth it. Okay. So, I am swiping a little bit under my eye, just because that's, like, the only way I know how to get under there. But I'm trying my best to pat, and I'm kind of squeezing this to get under there. So, if you have a smaller brush... For your powder, go ahead and use it. Um, my smaller brush is what I use for bronzer, so I don't want to put, get bronzer everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to do my bronzer, my blush, whatever else off camera. But, um, and then if I feel like I got too much powder, I can kind of sweep it away too. I don't want it to feel heavy at all. So thank you guys so much for watching with me. <laughs> I am just like... I'm just ecstatic at how I covered that. So hopefully um, when you're watching the replay, you can go back to the beginning and compare what I had then to what I have now, but you can bet I am going to be taking a picture of this because I've already got my before picture. So um, I thought I was going to use my liquid concealer, but all I used you guys was my BB brew. So it's my BB creams that I custom made my color and my mineral concealer you don't oh my god see I can see it like I know exactly where it is and I can see the bump but I'm like really digging out for it but if I just like look at my face I don't see and I don't see those under eye circles either I forgot how much I hate my hair and that I still need to curl it I need to go oh my gosh you guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions um just comment below, um, Sarah, if you want to keep telling me how awesome it, this stuff is and how good my face looks. You know I always love that. So, <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Have a good day.